Welcome back to another episode of Inward News. It's your boy Dre. Uh, I'm in a new area today. So we're going to see how this works out before we see if we're going to continue with it. I'm tired of talking about cops. I'm sure you're tired of talking about cops, but we're all tired of talking about cops. But they they just keep doing cop things to where we got to we got to talk about them. The cops accidentally shot a girl that they were looking for in an Amber Alert. So the story goes is the, the girl was kidnapped by her father. They were going. I guess the cops found the father. They cornered him and they got into a shootout. And apparently the girl was, you know. Uh, casualty of that now the issue with that is it was about two or three days of everybody calling the cops out like yo how'd you shoot the girl how'd you shoot the the girl how'd you shoot the girl there's no way you shot the girl what happened because i think she was recovering at some point but then she they later announced her as dead all that kept going on and everybody kept saying cops are stupid cops are dumb this is the issue with cops blah 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 and then some news reports came out saying that maybe the girl shot at them first This girl was on an Amber Alert, meaning whatever was going on, that child's parent, I'm assuming the mother, reported her missing, reported her kidnapped because she was with the father. And now after the cops accidentally shoot this girl, they say, well, maybe she fired first. What? You're, you're here to save somebody and then you kill them and then you go, they attacked us. They're rescuers. She attacked her rescuers. But I, man. And that's just the first story. The second cop story we got on the agenda is some cops were, I guess it was supposed to be a quote unquote routine traffic stop. They suspected some woman of having a weapon. So they took her out of her vehicle and they put her in a uh, their cop car. Now, while they were searching this woman's truck for a weapon, the cop car got hit by a train. Because when they pulled her over, they left their car parked on a train. And then when they took her out of her vehicle, instead of them saying, man, we should really get this car off the tracks, they put her in it with their hands handcuffed behind her back. And then the train came by and it gave her, let's see. She suffered a head injury, back pain, a broken arm and nine broken ribs because they were looking for a weapon in her car because they left their car on train tracks just in general you don't leave your car on train tracks that's just a rule of driving that's not even a, a a a rule in the book because you should just know don't leave your car on train tracks but not only did they leave their car they left it for multiple minutes and put another human in it defenseless with her hands behind her back handcuffed and then she can't even open the door because the child safety lock doesn't allow that and then they, uh, one of the officers was all put on leave. Nobody's been fired yet. I honestly don't understand how that's not attempted murder. Because there's no other reason to leave a car on train tracks with a person in it other than to see that person get hit by a train. But enough about cops. And now on to the world police. The U.S. Army uh, is fighting so hard to recruit new troops that they are now offering $50,000 enlistment bonuses. So if you don't know, that is $50,000 extra. I think they still tax it, but basically whatever you, whenever you sign up, you're going to get your rank, whether it's E1 to E4, depending on uh, if you have a college degree or not, or if you can take a PT test or whatever. Yeah, they give you an additional $50,000. That's the most they've ever offered. Uh, you do have to enlist for six years. Most contracts is four, six, or eight, I believe. But now I think they even dropped it down to like two or three years of contract because they just need people in. So hopefully you get in, you get a better life and then you decide to stay. So they're offering smaller contracts, but they're also offering a lot more money if you take bigger contracts. But people find out you don't really need the military or college to get through life anymore. So nobody's really going. Nobody's taking that chance of going to debt or going to war, especially the way with how our country talks to other countries. Economists are now saying that uh, what everybody's been saying, unemployment rates are going to shoot up because people are quitting. People don't like their jobs. People aren't happy just in life in general. They'd rather be poor for, for a reason than, you know, working two, three jobs, trying to make ends meet and still being poor because people don't offer real money. Like folks are asking for bachelor and master degrees and offering $15 an hour. Like, bro, there's no way I went to college, got all that debt just to come and pay absolutely you know, get paid absolutely nothing. That's bull crap. 
I'm not dealing with that. A lot of people aren't dealing with that. So now people are just quitting. But, you know, people have always said that. But instead of fixing that, they're just going to bail out the companies, let them make more money, blah, blah, blah. Hoopity hoopla. The regular citizens don't get anything. We're not surprised. A woman was hospitalized after she ate some chihuahua butt. So apparently this lady uh, owns a chihuahua. I don't know what her dog or what she did to her dog, but her dog decided to poop in her mouth while she was asleep. And it was like real nasty because it got like all down her face and down her stomach. Like, yeah, she's sick. Like, obviously you eat any type of poop, you're going to get sick. But chihuahua poop, dog poop, you don't even know what dogs are doing all day. You have an idea, but you really don't know. And I wouldn't, oh, that went to her mouth. So... I already don't like animals. I would have got rid of that dog so fast. I probably wouldn't even like took it to a vet. I probably would have just took off the collar, put it outside and said, go leave. Do not come back because no, no. And now for the all hiring segment, uh, shop OND or OND is a, uh, clothing boutique brand. They have all types of cute tops, bottoms, dresses, skirts, Crop tops, sweaters, business wear, business casual wear, non-casual wear, super casual wear, all types of casual wear. Uh, yeah, based in Columbus, uh, go to the page, check out, see how they fit on her, see how they'll fit on you. Buy some stuff. J Bling Me is a, uh, what you call it? It's a nail salon, nail shop, nail owner, nail tech. She does all types of tech. I mean, does all types of nails, make your nails look good. You know, you can add the sparkles and bedazzles and all that on there. Looks real cute. Get the bejewels, the special designs. Like, yo, she go crazy on these. Yeah. So if you want your nails done, uh, go to Jay Bling Me. Uh, she's in Atlanta. $20 deposit required and non-refundable. So don't be playing on her line because you ain't going to get your $20 back. But yeah, these nails are dope. So go to her. That's the whole point of y'all hiring. I, y'all hear me say go to them a lot. That's because that's the point of this. Hit up these businesses. Share that black wealth. Uh, Creative Looks ATL is a hairstylist in Atlanta. She's going to do your hair, make you look good. Braids, wigs, quick weaves, uh, knotless, faux locks, boho locks, goddess locks. Uh, the what, what, What's the name? The Sierra Silk Press, the Missy Elliott Curls. Uh, who other hairstyle? The Alicia Keys braids or the Take Your Woman braids. Take your man braids. There we go. All that. If you need, if you got hair and you need it done, go to Creative Looks ATL because obviously they're creative. Look. All right, y'all. That's it for y'all hiring. We only had three today. I'll have four next week. Other than that, yeah. We'll, we'll see how this video turns out. All right. Bye.